I don't think you guys can see me, but hello, it is I, um, L7. I'm here today because I recently just uploaded a video on my New Year's resolution and how I completed my New Year's resolution within the 2019 year. But now I have how, how I did my New Year's resolution and how I completed it. Um, um, a little disclaimer, what I want to very first start off with. I am not a health expert. I am not somebody who knows that much about this kind of stuff. I just know my life was headed in a downhill direction and I didn't want it to go downhill, I wanted it to go uphill. So that's what I did. I went ahead and just like changed my life real fast within a year with true hard work and dedication. Uh, before I say any more about how I lost the weight, I would also like to throw this out there. Uh, my whole life I had felt just uncomfortable in my body, like the body I was in I didn't feel like I belonged in it because of the way I had treated it and the I didn't see value in my physical body um so my whole life I had always thought about that my whole life I had always said to myself and I had always wanted to lose weight and to look better and to look healthier but because I was so self-conscious and so like I don't know I didn't want to do it because I felt so bad about myself that I didn't want to do it even more so I don't know if that makes sense but that's how I felt like mentally for at least six months I told myself mentally um, you're gonna get your life on track you're gonna do this blah 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 but it took a long time to get myself in that mental spot to be able to actually complete the things that I was wanting to pursue and the exercise and eat healthy and all that good stuff it took me a while to mentally be like okay this is what we're doing now like I had to reprogram my brain if that makes sense I had to reprogram myself um, got a pen so I can mark it out. This back here licking his butt is my dog. His name is Homie. Hey buddy, stop. If you're gonna do that, leave the camera. Leave the filming process. Um, he's a pretty cool dog, I like him. Uh, <laughs> and then, let me mark out some things, because I got a lot of good points here, or I think there are a lot of good points. Um, um, Something else I would like to say, throw out there, whatever, is I used to have a super dark spot on the back of my neck, and it was from, like, the beginning stages of diabetes. Like, I was getting diabetes. Um, but yes, I was in the beginning stages of diabetes, and I have reversed them, and I am super proud of myself, and I don't know. I just like to throw that out there. And growing up, the way my family taught me to eat was not the right way that you should eat. So I have been trying to overcome the addiction of food and I think I have successfully put myself on the right track. I'm not going to say I have successfully completed it because I still do have super bad cravings and still do have like not the best intention sometimes when it comes to putting food in my body. But I do try to have good intentions, so you see what that has done for me, and I'm happy about it, I'm proud about it. And another thing I have that's very important to me is when I look at people and when I see beauty in people and when I see people, I don't see their physical body. Like, obviously I do see their physical body, but I look past that and I try to look into their soul and all that good stuff, and I try to or I don't try to, I do see what kind of person they are and I see if I like them or not. Like within the first couple minutes I meet somebody or the first few seconds I meet somebody, I can tell if you're going to be a bad person or a good person in my life. I just, I don't know. I joke with people all the time. I'm psychic. 
Um, <laughs> but I see inner beauty. So outer beauty is like, it's good. It's good. It helps you feel confident. Outer beauty is good. It makes you feel confident. But inner beauty is what really matters because inner beauty is what you take with you when you die. When you die, you don't take your body. Like you simply just don't take your body. You can't argue with that with me. You can't tell me that's not true because it's true. When you die, your body stays here and your spirit goes to wherever you think it goes to, whether it goes to heaven, whether it goes to whatever you guys think your soul goes to is, it doesn't matter about your physical body. So that I have said, um, another thing I would like to say is I had never once starved myself during this whole process. Like, yes, I was hungry, but I did not starve myself. I always made sure to eat three meals every day. I was sure of it. And if I didn't eat three meals every day, something in my brain would be like, I don't know, I would like relap, I guess, and then I would eat a lot of food at once, like a lot of unhealthy food at once. So I found don't starve yourself because if you do starve yourself, you're going to relap and just eat a bunch of junk food or just eat like whatever is quickest, whatever's faster, whatever's easiest to get from point A, the table, to point B, your mouth. So, and then another thing I have written down is if I had cravings, I would just eat them. Like I would just go ahead and take a couple bites and eat it, but I wouldn't um, eat the whole thing. I wouldn't eat the whole candy bar. I would only eat a couple pieces of the candy bar. Or if I had like a cupcake, if I was like, oh, I've done really good in like the past three days. I've been to the gym, I've been eating healthy the past three days. I'm allowed to eat one cupcake out of these three days or four days or whatever, however much time you want to space yourself, whatever you can handle. So I wouldn't starve myself. And then if I had cravings, I would just go ahead and eat it. And then next I have every day I would try to make small improvements with myself. Even if I felt like they weren't like that much of an improvement, every day I would try to make small improvements. Even if I didn't like eat healthy that day or work out or whatever, I would still tell myself, it's okay, tomorrow's a new day, tomorrow's a new chapter, you still got this. Don't let one bad day tear you down. One bad time doesn't define your whole life. Um, so any small improvement, like simply looking at the world and saying, oh, that's beautiful, or simply like making your bed every morning, which I don't do, but like something small like that will improve your quantity and quality of life. Um, uh, the next thing I have is only eat when you're hungry, which is what I did when my like I would legitimately wait until my stomach felt hollow which was like three times a day breakfast lunch and dinner is like at the end of it that is like your body gets into routine of what how you eat how you what you put in it your body gets into routine and it knows like every morning say you wake up and every morning at eight o'clock you take a poop your body knows every morning at 8 o'clock you take a poop. So every morning at 8 o'clock, you're going to have to take a poop. So, um, if you only eat when you're hungry, your body will, like, soon learn. Like, hey, we're only eating when we're hungry, so you need to chill. So, I don't know. Um, the next thing I have is only do what you can maintain. So, for me... I was eating very, very unhealthy, waking up, skipping breakfast, uh, going to work, eating a pulled pork sandwich on garlic bread with fries and a soda, and then for dinner I would eat like, I don't know, a frozen pizza or chicken nuggets or like very, very unhealthy. And then snacks throughout the whole day, candy throughout the whole day, soda throughout the whole day. Um, and. I knew if I changed my life drastically, like, I wouldn't be able to maintain it. I knew if I woke up every morning and made, like, a five-star meal, and, like, I just knew what I could maintain and what I couldn't maintain. So, for me, it was something small. Like, yes, what I'm, what I eat 
could be healthier it could be better but it's a long ways from where i did come like there's always room for improvement but as long as you're gradually improving each step of the way you got this pal um <laughs> and then the next one i have is do not forget why you started that is one of the hardest things i've come to learn um or come to like terms with is don't forget why you started because then you'll just relapse don't forget why like take those before pictures take those after pictures compare them look at them every day and tell yourself you're proud of yourself or whatever it could be like do not forget why you started i started because i felt incomplete as a person i didn't feel like i was who i needed to be i didn't feel like the l7 that I needed to be. So now I feel a little bit better in my body. I feel a little bit more like ready to have some fun or something. I don't know. But I feel more comfortable in my body now. And that's because I never forgot why I started. I never forgot the feeling of awfulness and disgustingness that I felt towards myself, looking at myself. But now I feel happy. And also, something else I like to say real fast is I do not look at other people and think, oh my God, that person's disgusting. Oh my God, they're fat, blah, blah, blah. I never look at anybody and say that. But for myself, to see myself in that position, it really like broke my heart and tore me down. Because you're your own biggest fan or you're your own worst enemy. You get a pick. Another thing I would like to point out is I did not break the bank while I was doing this. Like every, my gym membership, I started at Planet Fitness and the only reason why I started at Planet Fitness was because in February of last year, or I guess this year because it's still 2019, February of 2019, my boyfriend and I, we were first home renters or whatever first yeah first home renters that sound right but we were doing that and our freaking pipes froze in Kentucky our pipes froze so the reason why I got my gym membership was to take a shower at the gym because my pipes had been frozen for like two or three days and I just felt grimy disgusting i hadn't taken a shower in a couple days i needed a shower so i went to the gym and i was like hey i need the most bare minimum gym membership you got because all i need to do all i want to do all i'm going to do is take a shower and after my pipes get thawed out um i'm probably going to cancel this gym membership so if you could just give me bare minimum to get a shower and that's what the woman at the front desk did she gave me the bare minimum package to take a shower and that's what I did but then with up on having the gym membership I was like well I have it I might as well use it so I went ahead and started using my gym membership and then because uh, I didn't know much about exercise it was never a priority in my life I busted my knee out I twisted my knee I hurt it um, it's very painful it's in my other video if you guys want to watch my whole fitness experience like I don't know this is how the other one was the experience something else I have is the the last weight you gained is the first weight you're gonna put off like I have a pudge here that will probably always be there it has been there my whole life that pudge has been there since I can remember it has always been there I'm gonna try to work it off to um, exercise it off or whatever I'm gonna try to melt that fat but I'm not gonna be disappointed if I don't because that pudge has always been there my whole life like yes I'm not happy about it but what can I do about it I'm gonna try to work it off but it's been there my whole life but the weight that I had last put on was kind of like in my face, under my arms, like my mid torso. So all that weight burned off first when I started working out. When I started working out. Um, and then I have, you will be hungry and you will be sore. Like you are going to be hungry 
while you're changing the shape of your stomach because think about it if you eat a crazy amount of food your stomach is sore you're hurting every thanksgiving your belly is probably super sore super bloated because you just put a bunch of food in there well guess what now you're not putting as much food in there so your stomach is gonna be hungry you're going to be hungry but you need to know how much food you can healthily take in without like starving yourself like for me it was 2,000 to 1,500 calories for my body because I'm small um, it could be for other people too I don't know that's just what I ate. I think I ate 1,500 or 2,000 give or take in between there something like that um, but I don't know you're changing the size of your stomach so you are going to be hungry but your body will get used to it your body will know that that is the new size of your stomach and then you're going to be sore <laughs> i know that's stupid i know that's like common sense you're going to be sore but let me tell you what i was so sore i wanted to quit i didn't want to be a part of the fitness life anymore when i first got sore i don't like it a lot of people say oh I like it it feels like you're doing something well I don't like it because when I go hard I go hard and when I'm sore I am sore for a long time so I don't know there's that and then I also have right now my I am not where I want to be like I could still lose a little bit more and then tone up is what I'm really after within this next year I want to tone up my body so we'll see about that um, I'm happy where I'm at I'm not gonna try to over I don't know we'll see if I try to overextend myself we'll see because I want to get lean like I said in my last video but I'm not where I want to be but there's always room for improvement but it's also I have came so far from where I was at that I I don't know I'm just proud of myself even if I'm not exactly where I want to be and then uh, something else I have is be sure not to work out on a completely empty stomach. Like when I go to the gym, I don't eat before I go. As soon as I wake up, I try to stretch and go because that's what I like to do. That's how I have trained myself. I like to wake up and go to the gym because I can't even think about how much I don't want to go to the gym. So... Um, I wouldn't eat before I would just stretch drink water and go which is good for me because I push myself so hard that I'll be puking but you also need to keep in mind or for me for my physical body if I didn't eat like a good full three meals like healthy meals the day before I would get sick at the gym because my stomach was kind of empty so if your stomach's empty you're gonna feel nauseous you're not gonna feel good so I always try to make sure to eat three good size full meals every day um, for breakfast lunch and dinner and then if I don't I know that like I shouldn't go to the gym that next day because I'm going to get sick and if you can't do that if you have to eat before you go to the gym or if you're not like me and you can just eat a bunch of food and then go to the gym and be swell but that's not how I am if I know the day before that I hadn't eaten much food or I don't think I had eaten much I will make a smoothie and drink like I'll either drink the whole thing or half of it depending I make big smoothies like I'm not here to play I'm here to get full I'm here to eat so um, <laughs> um, if you just make a little small smoothie and then wait about 30 minutes and digest it and then go to the gym you will have so much energy and it will be awesome so that's just a little health tip that I have for you and then um, all right next this is what you all have been waiting for my meal plans <laughs> um, so for my meals for breakfast what I would do in order to lose weight if I was on the go had to go to work didn't have time to make a meal I would do I would just simply make smoothies and I can make a I'll make a whole video on the ingredients of the smoothies that I make but not right now because there's a lot 
Or I would just uh, do eat oatmeal if I didn't have time in the morning. Like microwavable oatmeal. I'd do oatmeal, almond milk. I would do a, either a tablespoon or a teaspoon. I don't know. Probably a tablespoon because I love chocolate. Probably two tablespoons. I would do two tablespoons of mini chocolate chips and then I would cut up a whole Granny Smith apple which are the green apples which are so good. I would cut up a whole one of those and put it in there and then it was like a chocolate apple cobbler that I would eat for breakfast and it was good, it was healthy, it made me happy, it was sweet, it was awesome. And then um, if I had more time in the mornings what I usually make and still do make is omelets. <laughs> So I will make an omelet, I will fry one piece of bacon, or actually, I'm sorry, I take that back, I'll fry two pieces of bacon, I'll set one piece of bacon to the side, which I'll eat with the omelet, and then I will chop up the other piece of bacon into the omelet, and I will add salsa and cheese, just a tablespoon of Colby Jack cheese, and then salsa. I really like... Kroger has this really yummy, yummy salsa that I love. I don't know the name of it. I think it's like Fee Mexico. I don't think that's right, but I don't know. The, uh, so that was one meal, omelet and bacon. And then the next meal that I would eat for breakfast would be I scrambled two eggs, two pieces of bacon, and a thing of Yoplait yogurt, which I would not buy the white yogurt. I wouldn't buy... I don't buy anything that's like light or like turkey bacon or anything that's not what it's meant to be. So I don't think turkey bacon is supposed to be a thing. Why Why is that a thing? Turkey is turkey. Turkey is not bacon. So I don't know. That's just my own thought. But I wouldn't buy light yogurt. I would buy like all the fattening goodness because my body needed it. Like yes. It might be more fattening or whatever, but it's a good type of fattening. And then another breakfast meal I would make is I would uh, toast a mini bagel and put two tablespoons of butter on it. One tablespoon on one side, one tablespoon on the other side, and then a banana or an apple, and then two pieces of bacon. And then that would be my breakfast meal. So that is what I would eat every day to lose weight in the mornings. And then for lunch, I worked at this barbecue place and as you can imagine, a barbecue place is not very uh, healthy. So what I would do is I would order, they had smoked chicken and smoked turkey. And I would either order one of those, but when I was really going hard, I would order the turkey because turkey, as you know, is better for you. But I hate turkey. I hate turkey and I hate eggs and I hate oatmeal. But I make myself eat those things because I know it's healthy for like I know to some people that sounds crazy and like disgusting and unheard of but that's just how I am if I think it's gonna help me I'm gonna do it like if if I was raised to eat whatever was put in front of me so if something disgusting was put in front of me if slop was put in front of me I'm going to eat it like I'm 100% going to eat that slop so I don't know. Every day I would make myself eat turkey, but because I didn't like turkey, I would drown it in hot sauce. And I don't like hot sauce either, but it's better than just plain normal turkey. And I chose hot sauce because hot sauce is zero calories. And then um, I would pair the turkey or chicken with broccoli, green beans, or potatoes. I would only do two sides, but one of those three. And by potatoes, I mean a sweet baked potato or a, a plain baked potato. And on the plain baked potato, I would do a little bit of butter, I would do a little bit of sour cream, salt and pepper, and that's it. And let me tell you what, when you are a person who likes loaded baked potatoes, a plain baked potato with a little bit of butter and sour cream tastes like trash. It tastes like garbage, it's disgusting, it's not good, like, it is just not up my alley. It's not something I like. I want the bacon. I want the cheese. I want the chives. I want the, I want extra butter. I want extra sour cream. I want extra salt, extra pepper. Like I want this. I don't even want it to be a potato at this point. I just want it to be like a mixed up bowl of yumminess. But that is not what I ate when I was trying to lose weight. I tried to keep it very like bare minimum. Like, okay, this is a food you need to fuel your body. Eat it. 
So, I don't know. That's how I was. And then with sweet potatoes, what I would do is, yes, I would still put cinnamon sugar or cinnamon butter and brown sugar, but I would only put a little tiny bit, enough to give it a flavor. Um, enough to give it a little bit of flavor. I don't know. That's just what I would do because I... I don't know. I already didn't like the food I was eating, but if I could do anything to give the food a little bit more flavor, it was good. I liked it. And then that is pretty much what I would eat for lunch. And then for salads, what I would do is I would just like do romaine lettuce because that's my favorite lettuce. Um, even though I had an E. coli outbreak or whatever it was, I guess I'll die. I don't know. I like romaine lettuce. Um, and then I would cut that up, put some carrots in it because I love carrots. And then, because I am a fiend for sugar, I would have to cut up um, a Granny Smith's green apple and put it in my salad. Or I would have to get like mandarin oranges and peel that up and put it in my salad. Because, I don't know, that's just what I like. I really like sugar. I like sweet stuff. So if I was putting sweet stuff into my meals, it made it better. And then I would also put meat, of course, which the meat that I would put, I would always just put chicken in there. I would always just grill chicken and put it in there. And then I, I said I, <laughs> before I just said it, I don't eat anything light. That's a lie. I do eat light stuff. I eat light butter and I eat light salad dressings, but that is it. Uh, everything else I don't. I don't do diet sodas. I don't do diet this or that. I eat what I'm supposed to eat, and I don't diet food. I don't eat diet food. I eat clean food. And then um, I always put a light dressing on my salad. Um, I can try to give you guys a list, but honestly, I don't want to, and everybody's taste is different so that's just something you're gonna have to find out for yourself to find out what kind of salad dressing you like but I will give you this information Panera has good light dressings um, and you can buy them at Kroger or Walmart and then for dinner what I would do when I was losing weight I would eat my meat I would eat a size that's like as big as my fist not as wide as my fist not like as big as my fist but like as big as my fist I would eat about that much meat and then two vegetables which it was either zucchini, carrots, broccoli, uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, um, just vegetables. Basically I would try to form my whole meal around vegetables. My whole meal was vegetables and then I would put a little bit of meat in there and then <clears throat> I did eat a lot of A1 while I was trying to lose weight. A1 is not really that great for you but it does supply you with some flavor. So as long as you don't get too crazy with the sauces you're good but sometimes it can be hard to do because sometimes whew, let me tell you what I am the sauce queen. I love sauces. Sweet and sour sauce, Polynesian sauce, all the sauces in the world I love. Sauce. <laughs> and then for snacks, I would try so hard to not eat snacks while I was like dieting. And I try hard. I don't really try that hard anymore. But I used to try super hard to not eat any snacks at all. And that was when I was like losing the most weight. Um, and that's because you don't need snacks. You need three full-size meals a day based around fruits and vegetables. That's what your body needs, in my opinion. Or that's what my body needs. There we go. My body needs three size, three good-sized meals based around veggies. But for snacks, what I would do was celery, peanut butter, apples, peanut butter, chips and salsa, uh, crackers and hummus, and then because I am a fiend for sweet stuff, like I said, I ate a lot of fruit at this point. I ate a lot of, drank, ate, consumed a lot of smoothies. Um, I ate, ate. Okay, sorry, my camera cut off. But within this next year, I do plan on building my body up a little more and getting it to like the pristine 
physique that I want. But until then, I'm happy with what I got. I'm happy with what I did. I'm happy with how hard I worked for it and how much dedication I put into this. I'm proud of myself. Um, <laughs> I don't feel like anybody else is proud of me, but you know what? That's fine. I don't care. I don't need anybody to be proud of me. I need to be proud of myself because you are your own biggest fan are your own worst nightmare. It's your decision. But um, I hope you guys stay tuned with me and see what else I do. Um, but I would also, one last thing before I go, I want to say thank you for tuning in. But I have made a Twitter, I've made a Snapchat, and I've made an Instagram. But um, all of those things, if you'd like to follow me, that would be swell. Uh, but if you could also leave a like, a comment, and if you could subscribe, that would do your girl wonders. That would just make my heart flutter and make me happy. So if you could just like, subscribe, and yeah. Alright, goodbye. I promise there's a lot more content coming from me. Because one of my, I have a couple of resolutions for 2000. 20 but one of them is to like really get on my YouTube game to really just to really be putting myself out there so we'll see where it takes me I hope it takes me somewhere beautiful I hope it takes me to like I don't know Bora Bora somewhere nice and if it doesn't that's okay too because this is this is just my life journey this is just what I'm doing in my life and I just wanted to share it with the world with somebody um so Goodbye. Thank you for tuning in.